okay the people who are paralyzed okay they want to move but they cannot move why because Allah wills them not to move although they want they want to move because they can hear they can see they want to speak but they cannot why illa an yasha Allah except that Allah wills so here Allah shows his authority his power that if he wills you cannot even will anything and even if you will if Allah wills against it you cannot do anything again so human being is not completely free willed rather he is free will in some and rather he is forced in some and in everything is the wisdom of Allah why because of our principles that Allah is Allah who be ahkam al hakimin is not Allah the most wise so Allah is the most wise there is wisdom we are not able to understand it it is our mistake okay and irada uh, mashiyat are of two kinds as well the mashiyah are of two kinds the first that which is past the first one is that which is past in the uh, past in the uh, that which has passed away meaning in the back okay like for example the people who came before us it is past okay whatever uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wrote in Luhal Mahfuz 50,000 years ago before he created us yaktubu taqadir kullu khalayak as in Sahih Muslim, Ibn Abbas says that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, "Yak aktubu maqadir kullu khalayq." Alfa khamsa ina sana. Fifty thousand years ago, Allah wrote everything in in the Luhal Mahfuz. Fifty thousand years before He created us. Subhanallah. So this is something which is already passed. This is the first Mashiyah, the first will of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Second kind is that things that are happening. Things that are happening and the things that are happening there are of three kinds see how much this knowledge any field of Islam is so much diverse and how people think oh yes yes I know I know I know I know everything I know Islam but they don't understand the knowledge of Islam is diverse so the things that are happening there are of three kinds first Juzi Mashiya meaning Zate Mu'ayyana for every single thing one every single thing Juzi every single thing the, the will of Allah for every single single thing tiny tiny thing the first second Amr Kauni meaning the Amr the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay third is the Khalaq the creation of it these are the three things that are happening these days yes or no is every small thing being being uh, controlled by Allah yes or no yes is Allah ordering it to be yes or no is Allah creating it that's why it's happening Yes or no? So these are three things that are happening. Now, what is the proof for this? You know, I love this part when we are, when we bring the proof and Alhamdulillah. The proof for this is Surah Yasin, chapter number thirty-six, verse number eighty-two. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says over here, "Inna ma amruhu, iza arada shay'an, an yaqulu lahu kun fayakun." In this verse, all the three things are there. What is the first? What was the first one? Juz'i Mashiya for every small thing. So what did Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say over here? Iza arada shay'an for everything. Shay'an everything. First part is here. Alhamdulillah. Second is what? Amrukoni. Inna ma amruhu. Well, the order of Allah. His command is only what? And what is the creation? Kun fayakun. He says be, and it is. This is a creation. So that which is happening, it is of three types, and it is uh, divided into three categories: Juzi, Mashiya, Amru, Hu, Koniya, and Khalq. And the proof is over here that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that His command is only when He intends a thing for anything. He says, "Be," and it is. So this is a difference between uh, irada and uh, Mashiyat and these were the proofs so inshallah next time we will continue with this point again because we have talked about two Jabariya Qadariya now we will see what is the third group and we have found faults in the first two let's see whether we will find any faults in the third group or not until then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me make you make all the Muslims around the world follow the true teachings of Islam and follow the true Manhaj may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us believe about him the way we should believe about him and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from any kind of misguidance from any kind of deviation 
any kind of innovation, any kind of innova innovative belief, any kind of belief that has shirk, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our belief clean, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean us from inside, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us understand the true tawheed, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us live, make us love, and make us die on tawheed. Ameen. Ya Arhamar Rahimin, Ya Khairul Rahimin. Wa akhru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala shayfir anbiya'i wal musaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.